All right, what's up, guys? Good afternoon. I uh, hope you're all having a freaking fantastic Sunday. We are going to be continuing with uh, some Pillars of Eternity to Deadfire today. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how today is going to go. Uh, maybe I'll let you guys in on something later. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go through today. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we were doing yesterday. We played like freaking nine hours of this shit. Um, I think we took an engagement we couldn't take. And we are loading our, like, the save before it. Uh, I need to go back in and, and do stuff. Man, Path of the Damned is, is certainly difficult. Um, I don't really want to lower the difficulty at all anymore because I feel like I can definitely do it. It's just going to take time and patience and figuring stuff out. Kind of definitely have made a few mistakes with our starting characters. Um, that I'll all have to like go from there. Oh yeah, we had all the traps. Right, that we were we are working our way through. Meditation chamber. Okay, let's go to this meditation chamber first. How close are we to leveling? We're not that close at all. Uh, because we know that that area is going up and around that way. Padinsky, how are you lurking? Always appreciate it, buddy. Get get out of here with your queso, though. Okay, we have an arbalisk finally, though. And a medium armor. Um, and some grenades and stun bombs. Okay, one of the things I do want to do is... This bad boy. Uh, wait, has he been using his shitty pistols this whole time? Oh my gosh, that's probably why. 
Um, <laughs> can we please get an arbalisk on this guy? Take this shit off. Give him an arbalisk. All right. So that's going to be better, I think, for ciphering. But he should not have been using his shitty pistols uh, at all either. Um, there's, there's something seeing us. What do you have equipped? Equip your size. Uh -huh. Back away, guys. Back away, back away. Everyone, everyone come here. Yeah. All right. Something triggered in here. I knew it. I don't know. You're gonna have to figure it out. You gotta use. I gave it. I gave a hint in the tweet, and that's it, right? But but it's. I'll say it in like a week what it was. That's it. That's it. You gotta use your eyes. All right. So we have a bunch of these lesser black oozes. It looks like. Um. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna pop down a circle of protection to begin with. Seraphin, um, hmm, where are you? Right there. Let's uh, take a shot at this black ooze to begin with. Speak your mind. Takehu, um, we're definitely gonna drop the fog down on everybody. And a logical. Uh, I think our best bet is to start with. Yo, we could throw flame shield up. Throw the flame shield up. I'm curious to see how banning missiles does. Something I can do. Uh, a deer. So I heard you like need to click on them all to target things. Like with your warrior. So we might be wanting to turn off and uh, turn after action, so we can click on everything and make sure that they're targeting. Um. Mobs appropriately. You need something. That did a ton of damage, actually. I want to slow this down. I, I like the. I wish I could set it to like speed up on enemy turns, slow down on mine. Um. Okay, you have your scythe up. What if we come over here and just start attacking this guy? Oh. Logical did hit for a lot of freaking pierce damage off those bounding missiles. In fact, we killed one, it looks like. We just have these two up. Now, I don't know if that'll jump to there. Um, and I think I'd rather do a corrosive haunt. Let's do this. Blood magic. Throw out the uh, corrosive uh, haunt. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this fight, honestly. 18 damage, okay. Console Hots Haunts. Or Console Hots Corrosive Siphon is what it is, and it missed. Okay. These things are starting to do a little bit of damage. Alright, Takeu, if we move away, are you gonna get hit? Doesn't look like it. I'm too difficult, I say. Um what if we do a bolt of lightning just straight through this guy? And Shoti, Shoti got a melody. I'm gonna remember that now by just singing that every time. Twenty-one damage isn't bad. Not great though. Um. Hmm. What do we want to do? I mean, I guess we could try to go for a Necrotic Lance. Get some actual damage done. Uh, a yes, deer I, uh, should be able to kill yeah. this. Yes, good kill. Seraphin, you want to help out finish this one off? Decent amount of damage. Necrotic Lance, please don't miss. Damn, so wh why is that missing? Um, 41 minus 62 equals negative 21, negative 17. So they rolled, we needed a negative 21 to, mit, to hit, and we rolled a 4. Why doesn't this make sense, right? It says 2 hit, accuracy 41 minus 62 from toughness. Okay, that's his toughness. Uh, equals... Minus 21. 
to hit. We rolled 4 minus 21 equals a negative 17. A miss. Does that make sense at all? Minus 17 is higher than negative 21. We got to get higher than a negative 21 to hit. I feel like I'm missing something. Right? Or, or is it like I have to be get lower than negative 21 somehow? <clears throat> 41 accuracy, minus 62. Okay, that's their defense. So we're at negative 21. We rolled a four. Minus twenty one is negative seventeen. I guess it should be the, it should state it the other way, right? It should say sixty two toughness minus the forty one accuracy means twenty one to hit. And so I have a minus what is the minus twenty one coming from? Decadency, how are you, buddy? Um Oh, I see. Okay, the minus 21 is coming from the two hit from the roll. Okay, so then I would still need like a zero to hit. Maybe that's how it's working? That's got to be how it's working, right? Because it's saying I rolled a four, minus 21 is minus 17, so it's a critical failure. You rolled four, so accuracy and defense is minus 17. You need 50 to hit. Well, that's... God damn. I'm gonna have to like restart if we're gonna do Path of the Damned, I feel like. Right? Just because our perception's so low and it's so I didn't realize uh how this is gonna play out at all. He's 50 and I'm a minus 17. Oh my god. Oh, you roll between one and a hundred. So I just rolled ridiculously low. Is I guess is what, what we're seeing there. Because that's not Captain. too bad then. Okay, I thought I was like rolling decent. Too much. We'll have to take a look more at the the map behind a few of them then, so I can try and figure out what we're rolling. That just feels depressing. Um, all right, this guy's bloodied. Intellect afflictions. He's still in chill flog, winded and flanked. Um, Zoti sh Shoti should be able to kill that one. Too difficult, I say. Yeah, let's turn this guy into a shark and just come over here. Just because looking like a shark is awesome. Yeah. Oh, Shody. Shody, Shody. Alright, you needed 42 minus 37, 5, roll 66 plus 5, 71 hit. But that's the Kehu. Shody. 40 minus 37, so 3 to hit, roll, we rolled a 20, okay. Just rolling low. I fear not. Well, I want to try this again then with the necrotic lance to see. I guess just like where we where we're rolling, what range is. Yeah. Here we go. Solid twenty-five. Out my wheelhouse, friends. Easy enough there. We, oh my god, he has 100 focus. We haven't even been using any. Alright. So, we rolled a 17 again. But we're just rolling fucking low. So we definitely need like higher perception to increase the chance to hit. That would be a no. Not to rely on the, uh, the rolls at all. Oh? Uh, blood magic... Throw some magic missiles at it. Get it down quicker. You have them too difficult, I say. Decent damage. We should be able to kill these last two pretty easily. Something I can do. Is it something on It's something you have to observe over time, Fedensky. It's not going to be be thrown out there and busted in your face. Over this week. If you can notice it, I will be impressed. All right? No, no, I tweeted out something, right? I tweeted out something, and there's a, a hint in my tweet about something that you can observe. And if you notice it, 
I'll be impressed. That's it. That's the only hint. It's, it's not, I'm not trying to draw attention to it or anything, but if it gets noticed, hey, great. If not, no worries. I'll, I'll talk about it in like a week. Well, that order's too tall. <laughs> it's, it's, you, you gotta read the tweet for it to make sense. That's what I'm getting out there. Well, and then when I say it, and like, like next Saturday, when I say it, assuming all goes well, uh, uh, you'll be like, oh, that makes so much sense. But until that point, yeah, it's just gonna be like, I'm not even gonna confirm if, if you guess it, unless it becomes like an actual point that, uh, Get that multiple people can back up, right? That, that's that's all I'm gonna leave it at. Happy to oblige. All right, Shody. Um, what can you do? We can just do an iconic hey, projection. No, come over here. Iconic projection. At your service. Takehu. Way to kill it. Oh, it broke into two. Well, good thing we have the iconic projection there. Mm -hmm. Letting the beard go back. Paninsky, you know, I'll just... Beyond me. No, it's... Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say sure to that. That's not what I'm talking about. But sure. The beard is slowly growing back in. Just don't worry. You Like, when you, when you know it, when you absolutely know it and you're not making guesses, then make a guess. And I'll confirm it or not. Let's do it that way. Um... Okay, now we can do bounding missiles, though. Because it's it's something to be observed over time, and not not 17 minutes of me being live. And that's that's where I, that's how I want it. You need something. Everyone needs a little bit of enjoyment. I'm just providing a little bit to myself with this now, knowing that you would 100% want to try and figure out what I was talking about. All right, that fight wasn't bad at all. Is it something that's good for you? I mean, argue, arguably, maybe? We'll, we'll find out soon or later. Oh, it's a Zora. Does he want us to follow him, it looks like? Oh, it's a trap. 100% trap. Okay. Um... Don't see why not. Come here, dear. Looks like trouble. Craved. Holy oh, crap! How oh, many Zorup are there? Wait, is that Drake over there? It's a worm. Okay. All right. Yeah, wait until tomorrow, and, and then uh, then let me know what what the what the consensus is. What do you think your guess is? All right, we're gonna drop this like right there to begin with. Shody, uh, let's get everybody powered up. Oh, illogical. We are starting with some... No, no, we can't run up there. Um, where does... Man, the tentacles suck. Like, they just suck last time. Crush and corrode. Here, do this. Delay turn. What do you need? A deer back up. And stay there. Uh, throw up some defenses. End your turn. Let's see what happens here. What for, Cap? All right, Seferin. So Doing some damage. That's good. All right. Um, illogical. Blood magic. How many turns does this give us? Two turns for Eldritch Game. Um. It's beyond me. Yeah, let's, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Oh, you have a sword. That's right. right there hmm yeah Fidenzi, enjoy your day dude you'll you'll find out this week i promise that but, but just don't worry don't worry about today spend time with your family all right what do we do here 
I, I, they're all out of range. I need them to all come closer before I do anything. So we're gonna delay our turn again. Hmm? Uh, that order's too tall. A deer can just attack this guy. At your service. Man, Takeyu, I wish they were like in this already. Um. My God, we could just do a freaking lightning bolt right, right through there. Let's do it. All right, Shodi. I don't really want you doing anything either right now. Iconic Projection is only going to hit two of them. Maybe more. And nope, it's going to hit two of them. That's it. Seraphin, just delay your turn. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Decent amount of damage. Did something. All right, now they all get to come in. Let's speed these guys up. Group up everybody so we can wreck you, please. Can't make a dent. So many of them. So damn many. Oh man. Oh man. What is this madness? What is that? I fear not. Alright. Uh this is enemy only, right? Target. No, that's not the, the enemy only one I was thinking of. Um Blood magic? Here's what we do. We're freaking doing console hots on all of them. Seraphin, uh, we're gonna do a electric shield thing off of a deer. Shodi, uh, let's throw up a uh, circle of protection. So why not? Wait, how much did we do? How much did we do? Um, two misses, four grazes, one hit, one crit. Zora Priest cast Pillar of Faith. Takei who killed the Zora. Alright. Speak you ask too much. I think we're doing okay. Can we slow it back down a little bit? Near death, unharmed, champions. There's a priest back here that we need to deal with at some point. Uh maybe though let's start with the Yeah, let's start with just a freaking blizzard on all these guys. Alright, Illogical's back up. We're gonna go back with the blood magic. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. There's only two here for console hots. Um, I think we'll have better luck with the bounding missiles. I am enjoying it, yes. It, it certainly is very punishing. Um... And it's a, it's a lot slower because there's a lot more mobs, for sure. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. I'm not turning it down at all. We're gonna if I have to restart to do Path of the Damned, that may be uh, uh, something that happens to make my character better. But I think uh, I think I can struggle through it this this playthrough. Uh, we'll just have to get some gear options to improve. Yeah, every fight is so much more challenging and, and just so much more going on, which I like. That order is too tall. All right, um, Adir, I need you to honestly knock down the champion. <laughs> Didn't knock it down, but it hurt it. Okay. This does not work. Spot on. I mean, that did quite a bit of damage, guys. Holy crap. Um, Nightcap. Hmm. We're gonna dominate this Zora up so we can get our guys out of here easier. You need something. Okay, to Kehu. Um let's just drop another blizzard. Dominant Master or Puppet Master worked. Uh Shodi. Yeah, drop consecrated ground. 
Um, I, mean, I do want to use this, but we got to move to use it, right? And when we can just go some bounding missiles, get a ton of damage. I'll be chopping you to chum, like flogging a figurehead. Futile. Fights like these are cool, with so many mobs, though, that are super weak. If they, these guys are all super strong, we'd be having a lot more issues, though, right? This is like, can you do AoE damage and take a few hits? Which I answer yes, of course. What do you need? Alright, a deer. I think I can pull that off. That was not great. Rolled a 10. And an 18. Alright. The priest is healing shit up. This does not work. Ah. Oh my god. That would look so cool. Um, yeah, dual wielding, uh like I I just got an arbalist that I want to try on uh uh what's his name? Seraphin? Um, but dual wielding, when it hits, is nice, right? Because you you get, like, way more focus stacked up. Where, like, with an Arbalisk, if I, if I miss, it's... The, you, you get nothing, right? At least if I hit with one weapon, I'm getting something. Which I feel is, like, where the Chanter, uh, kind of falls behind right now compared to, like, the real time. Alright, Takehu. Um... We could drop lightning on all these guys. Let's do it. Alright, Shodi. I'm not sure I can. Yeah, the two pistols are dope, is why I'm I'm sticking with it. It's Time just looks good. Alright. Logical. Hmm. Let's do this. Vitality infuse. Blood magic, bounding missiles again. This does not work. Hopefully, they don't kill a logical. What do you need? I need to get a heal off on everybody. Need something stronger. Eleven. Seraphin, come in. Damn, he just missed everything. Alright, so that didn't bounce at all and just killed one. That's kind of not what you want to see. Wait, what just happened there? Withdraw. Invisible. 27.2 health restored per round. Untargetable. Stun for three rounds. Okay. Yeah. Gonna heal everybody back up. Yes, Captain. Too difficult, I say. Takehu. Um. Come a shark. It makes no difference. Start attacking this guy. Mm -hmm. Logical. What do you got for us? Oh, uh, we can do concussive missiles on the priest. Yeah. I don't think I can pull that off. I need something stronger. 13 will take it. Flagship, how are you, buddy? Did you get some sleep finally? Oh, I saw you were uh, still having trouble falling asleep, and I hope you didn't take my advice. Fucked. Podcast time. Podcast time. Well, see, here we're, we're trying to kill just things over and over. Yeah, oh my god. Much. Wait, we just missed everything? Wait, did we really roll a 2? A 19 and a 9. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. This does not work. Yes. I fear not. That would be cool. I mean, he, he looks like a really cool shark right now in the shadows, right? It kind of looks like his body doesn't match up with his arms, though, a little bit. Fast food chicken sandwich taste test. Ooh. Well, let me know which 
Which is the best as well. After that. I don't... Because, I mean, I don't know. That doesn't... Not sure I, can. I would watch it. I don't know if I would, would eat fast food chicken, really. I don't remember the last time I had, like, fast food chicken. Or fast food. Alright, well, does Chipotle count as fast food? Like... Yeah, if I if I get it and eat it there, is it really fast food? It's kind of fast food, right? Okay, so the last fast food I had is Chipotle. The last fast food I had before Chipotle? Maybe Subway? In California? Ugh. Man, fast food right now just does not sound, do. sound great. I'm just like, hmm. Dude, a, a food uh, review YouTube channel. That's what you need, flagship. I'll sub. Something I can do. Let me know all the places I shouldn't be eating that I'm already not eating. <laughs> all right, let's go. I got how I look at it. Can we like kill these guys already? Can we kill this priest? Anything? Make every explain every step I make. All right, so we got this priest who's gonna be trying to like heal people up. So what we're doing is ignoring him and killing everything before the priest can heal him up. Uh, got a soul shot going off. It actually killed one, thankfully. Uh, Takeu does have uh enough songs sung that he can do something next turn. Shodi. Is gonna go melee this Zoro champion. She's gonna go hit him, and she's gonna go kill him. Oh, 15 hit, almost a kill. Yes. I was pretty close into believing that. Uh, we're just gonna throw a necrotic lance right on the priest. Champion hits a deer for 27. We have a skirmisher hit him for 13. Another skirmisher misses a deer. The priest misses a deer. Hey. A deer swings and kills the champion. Can't make a dent. The worm is now back in combat, fully healed up. A necrotic lance has landed on the priest, hitting for 30. Seraphin wants to move up and get closer to begin work on the worm. Hitting for a total of uh, 8, 10, 23 damage. Yeah, I know they're pretty weak. What can I do you for? Vidinsky wanted one of the step-by-step -step guide of how to defeat Zorups. We're giving it to him. Shodi, with her sickle, can't actually run all the way up to the worm, so we're gonna move her between everybody else. Maybe throw down another healing circle, and then Illogical is gonna use some blood sacrifice, taking only. 16 health, it looks like. I'm getting a tier 4 spell out. He's now going to throw some concussive missiles at a skirmisher in the back line. Takehu, still a shark. He's going to just run closer. To line them up for a greater Amira. What is this called? A great Amira, let her wrath be shown. Great Amira, let her wrath be shown. Uh, line of lightning. Wait. He just abandons it because he shifts, shape shifts out of being a shark? That's lame. Zorup has grazed the deer once more time. Consecrated ground has landed. The deer wants a piece of this worm. Hits him for 15. Concussive missile is about to go off. A solid 10. That's it. We are very depressed with the logical. Seraphin, having 47 focus, decides he just wants to soul ignite the skirmisher. The worm takes a f or spits a fireball at a deer, hitting for 21. Uh, Takehu, Takehu, Takehu. Takehu realizing he doesn't really want to hit a deer with a lightning bolt, decides to. Get closer to the worm in order to potentially paralyze two targets. 
Paralyze the back one, the skirmisher, so that works out. The soul ignition lands for 29. Uh, Seraphin breaks out his pistols and shoots the worm. 12. Two, two, four. All right, what weapon does he have that's that's doing it? It's the second one, right? It's just a blunderbuss. Or is it this one? Explosive shot, basic attack, steal, pierce or slash damage, and small AOE. This is like a sports broadcast, but so much better. Dude, that that's that's my my what I need to be doing, right? It's just broadcasting <laughs> RPG play by plays. Oh, the main character starting to cry. Are those real tears? Does he actually feel bad for slaughtering all these enemies? No, it's a bluff. Uh alright, Shody, Shody, Shody. Sure Shody got a melody. Um let's just holy power. These guys. Yeah, tune in next week to find out on the, on this episode of XCOM 2. I should play D&D. The problem is the time, right? And then I have to find a group of people that I'd want to play D&D with. And uh, I've done this, this wonderful thing. Um, but well, it's, we got to figure out the time, right? We'd have to do this time. But I've done this wonderful thing where... In three years of living in North Carolina, I have met zero people. I mean, that like, okay, I've met people like on the casual, you know, like I, I, I'm familiar with like the waiter at the Mexican restaurant I go to. I couldn't tell you his name, but like he knows, he knows that I come in and he knows what I like to order and just puts it in and I get it and they eat and I leave. Like, I guess that's the closest thing to a person I've met uh, <laughs> since moving to North Carolina. So... Yeah, uh, too difficult, I say. And then uh, streaming it like st online D and D and streaming, it, right? It comes down to to time, having it set up, and having having people that can commit to it, right? Where flagship's time of midnight to nine a.m. or ten a.m. does not have work for me at all. So so it can make it very difficult doing that. Uh, when when we tried to do like a little bit with like Doobies lives on the west coast and freaking uh, uh, the doctor who lives in Europe, right? So it just didn't work. The times just didn't work at all um, for me. Like we did it for like four hours, and then like it's just it's yeah, beyond, uh, because everyone's time is screwed up. So to find a group like that is uh is a challenge, and then. Sundays are my day. I don't plan anything, right? Like, I, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but I was like, all right, I want to, I want to stream, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, and I don't want to plan D on D on that day at all, either. So it's just like, time is difficult. It, it's just a difficult thing to to plan out. And then, then I have to commit to it. We have we have a quote about me committing to things. I think about this, right? Like, I'm so bad at committing to things. It's a miracle I've committed to streaming this log. It's beyond me. Let's be real. If I didn't have other stuff to do, I would not have committed to, to streaming, I think. Now that I'm streaming, I enjoy it. But like, for a while? I don't know. I don't know what kept me going and trying. So I don't know. I don't know about D&D. I would say maybe in a few months Get I'd be up to, to trying right. it, but like right now I just I just don't want to commit to it at all. Oh, the paralyzed mist. Oh, logical. Do you have any abilities yeah. left? No. Concussive missiles. Yeah. All right, a deer. Can you just knock this guy down? Nope. That, that was too, too much to ask for. Captain. Seraphin. We're going all out on this last mob. Soul ignition. Concussive missiles. Soul ignition missed. What else could we do? Oh, we can just hit him for 14 with our scepter. What? What the heck did he just do? Hold on. Poison strike. All right, that that was that was a 
the biggest hit we took in this whole fight. Oh, indeed. Go hit him with your sword. Well done, Illogical. Alright, Flex, I'll consider figuring out if I want to do a schedule or not this week and let you know, and then we can go from there. I don't want to say, like, yeah, let's do it today without having sat down uh, and considering it. Yes, I do have more deer. Um, I actually need to talk to more deer. Wait, kill one kith. Isn't a kith like any monster? Do these not count as mo kith? Certainly. We've killed a bunch of things with Modir. I guess they don't count. Yeah, that's true. It would take a lot of. It would take planning. Oh, what, what, what was that? What was that? Oh my god. The sky dragon worm. Yo, wasn't there an item? Kith equal humans. Okay. Uh, isn't there an item that lets me, like, take the stat benefits of, you know, our dog for two resolve and turn it into a dragon? I want a freaking dragon. As a pet. Oh, must be half as tall as this whole building. We got, like, a letter about it. Well, does that count towards spells, right? Ranged weapons, yeah. Hmm. Better than two resolve, though? I don't know if that's better than two resolve. Yeah, party wide effect, 10% damage, right? With ranged weapons. Where this one gives me plus two resolve, resistance to resolve afflictions for party wide effect. Minus 20 resolve affliction duration. Oh, it's not both? Oh, I thought it was both. This one gives three accuracy, deflection, and reflex. Okay. Against distant enemies. Gotcha. Hmm. That is really good. That is better than this thing. I thought that was... I thought the, the resolve was party-wide. Can I give this to another... Person. No. So party gets three accuracy, deflection, reflex against distant enemies. Oh, so I have to like check all of these now. Um five percent area of effect. 5% of hits converts to crits. What? Party per kill. On kill. 10 health restored. In a second play, you can give a second pet to, pet to a deer. Ooh, that'll be fun. Three defenses against poison disease attacks. 5% healing done. 10% stride. No, get out of here. Nobody needs that. 10% of incoming crits convert to hits. One sleight of hand. Alright. Wait, do we look at this one? Yeah, 10 health on kill. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to play this game a second time. It probably won't be immediately after uh, this playthrough, but... I did notice that there was like a lot of the blessings and challenges and different things like that. An ordinary sword. A fine medium round shield though, that might be nice to have. I mean, it's better. Just hands down better. Oh, what's this dog? Uh, five will for party. Actually, really good.
Hmm. Three accuracy, deflection, reflex, or five will. I think I'll stick with the reflex for just a moment, but we'll have to remember that if we have like trouble with casters or something. All right. Clear all this out, it looks like. Minus 15 daily wages. Okay. So this is kind of where we were last time. And there was a bunch of traps. Do you see that? Oh, I do now. Why we're moving slowly. Where is it? Where is the next one? I think we have mechanics. I like how this is just like some random temple that we found. I mean, maybe there's a quest here and I just don't know it. But, oh hey. Rip? Are we okay now? I think we're okay. I apologize for all the, uh, oh nope, we're not okay. Well then, maybe we're okay. Oh, it's fun to drop, drop like 2,000 frames super quick. What everybody wants, I know it. Why you're here just for those frame drops. Audio's working fine. Well, the play-by-play -play is not because we're just disarming traps, making our way to the next encounter. Keep That's probably down. going to royally screw us up again oh yeah these were the guys that exploded on us and it's still just so bad i'm just dropping frames like crazy that i didn't realize they exploded right i mean hmm You wanna go in this room? We know there's a room down here. Let's go in this room first. All right, something's happening. Intervene or watch the scene play out. Queen that was in the will of the Steel Garot, you will meet justice. Kneel, Oswald, and be tried for your crimes. Wait, I can pay you. I can make you all rich. Just, just, just let me go. Your bribes fall on deaf ears. Never were for the court. We seek only to Always exact what a. Never were fond of courts, always favored my own justice. Hmm, what do we want to do here? We want to intervene? We probably want to intervene. I mean, who is this guy? Oswald. Yeah, the Letting Key from the first one. These are Letting Key occult or, uh, members. Wait, we should have had Aloth with us then. Right? Shit. Because Aloth would, he's like the leader of the Letting Key right now. <laughs> um, I didn't realize this was a quest. Oh my god. Wait, wait. It's not this quest. Okay, I thought it was the red one. I was going to be like, what are we doing here? Uh, what quest is it? Intervene. Okay. Recommended companion is... Zoti. Or Shoti. Okay. Uh, I discovered an elven man named Oswald being put on trial, but it appeared to be agents of Vodica. I suspect he won't survive the situation without my help. I told the agents they can make them rich. I could save him and demand a reward, or I could just take the money off his body. Intervene. Alright, here we go, boys. For Narnia! Huh? What? As you enter the large chamber at the bottom of the pyramid, you notice a sizable group of well-armed people dressed in raiments of the steel garrote. In the center of the group kneels a man bound at the wrist. He looks around wildly. His eyes widen when they fall on you. Before the kneeling man towers an imposing woman, her face obscured by the severe lies, lines of a Wodokin mask. You intrude on the deliberations of the court of Wodoka, outsider. Choose your next actions carefully, lest the queen that was turn her gaze to you as well. The man on the floor is an elderly elf, clad in dirty clothes, his face con contorted in the expression of a concerned animal. Oh, thank the gods, please! 
get me out of here. They're mad. They're all mad. They mean to put me on trial for oath-breaking, of all things. They say I betrayed the Idiran Empire, but I haven't been back there in, in over a hundred years. Wait, how old is this guy? Be silent, or I will make you so. The Inquisitor snarls at Oswald. State your purpose now, or die with him. She turns her steely gaze on you. Through the slit in her mask, you can just see the glint of her eyes. Um... Oh, yeah, that's right, he's an elf. Hmm. Do you condemn the innocent out of spite or mere incompetence? The Inquisitor bristles at your imperative question. She grabs her sword hilt and begins to step forward, but stops herself, suddenly uncertain. Her followers share pointed looks with one another and say nothing to challenge or defend her. Explain. Leather creaks as the Inquisitor's hand tightens on the hilt of her sword. I am a watcher. I've conversed with the tortured soul that met your justice. Not all were guilty. Ah, the Watcher of Cadnua graces our presence. Your deeds are well known to this court. Her tone is danger dangerously short. Those that attempt to lie to me find I am not easily fooled. Tell me, Watcher, how many of these souls do you claim were innocent? One. She stares at you intently for several moments. Her eyes as unreadable as the mask that hides her features. Even should you speak truthfully, you must see the wisdom of these proceedings. Imagine the greater good achieved by dispensing the reckoning this filth deserves. Would you prefer these monsters walk free at the expense of the truly innocent? What about this man? A death sentence for oath-breaking oath is extreme. Oathbreakers are the bane of the McQuinn, my queen. A benign enough crime on the surface, but an oath broken plants the seed of far greater atrocities. Families are torn asunder with a broken vow. Cities fall to ruin upon promises abandoned. What war has not been birthed in treachery? Take this one. She points at Oswald. He forsook oaths to Emperor and country both to fight amongst rebels in the War of Defiance. How many lives might have been spared without treason such as his? No, Watcher. Without one's word, one is nothing. Less than nothing. She reminds you of Kairos from Tyranny a bit, so yeah. Would you give your life to defend one such as he? A pile and an half of gold shit, Cap. An oath be only so binding as the word for the person you swore it to. He scowls openly at the Inquisitor. I see only vigilante justice. Any mistakes in your judgment proves my point. You have no authority in the court of Woodica. Only the queen that was holds sway here. I pray your soul learns from your mistakes on its next turn about the wheel. All right. What do we got? We got a lot of enemies. Do we want to back up to the door? We probably should back up to the door. All right, Takehu, come here. Um. Oh, we could have done like a lightning bolt, but hey. Yeah, in turn. Uh, Illogical, you're going to back up as well. And we're going to end the turn. Something I can do? Yes, a deer, come here. Wait, hold on. Back, more pockets. Okay, my chat seems to have disconnected now. Great. Hold on. Let me refresh it. I think how the bot does. Does remember everything? They stand so good, you could hit first, then go back. I could hit it first and then go back. I forgot. It's because I freaking have that thing on. I need to just keep that off. Yeah, we could have we could have attacked first. Yeah. Well, and not with all the cast, right? RF helmet. It, he does. It's a shield. Uh, the shield uh, causes him to get flame shield. Uh, for like a couple rounds, for three rounds when we enter combat, it's pretty pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna pop the holy power. Captain, Seraphin. My thing, savvy. I need you to back up as well. Maybe even further than everyone else. Oh, we should have attacked and then moved. Yes, Damn it, I forgot. Okay, Takehu, we're gonna delay your turn. Seraphin, delay your turn. 
The logical actually needs to be moved up, like, right here. Uh, and let's start maybe with just... Let's do a blood sacrifice. What did that give us? Give us nothing. Uh, it seems. Right, that did actually quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, Adir, we're gonna delay your turn as well. All right, let them come. What can I do you for? Not sure. I Shody, can. what do you have? You're ever sickle out. Um, honestly, just move up like a step. Throw down some consecrated ground. We can turn the auto end back on. I think we have everyone positioned. Wodaka Neophytes, Wodaka Agents. These guys are all pretty weak, I'm assuming. They, they just have five armor. They are like, they have no resistance. Oh wait, this one has Pierce and Fire Resistance. Yes, group up, please. Let's group up right here. I like it. To command, Captain. All right, Takehu. Too uh, difficult, I say. Can we can we drop some frost on everybody? <laughs> we can. Seraphin, move up here. Come on. Um, let's just shoot at this guy to begin with. Something I can do. Point seven damage. I don't think I can pull that off. Play by play. Well, uh, the Wodaka agents are all just moving into position. There, there's not a whole lot of play by play going on right now. Uh, Wodaka agents are swinging and hitting for four and five. Uh, another Wodaka agent moves up, grouping around Idir, who is doing more fire damage back to them than they're really doing to him. There's a lot of them. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're all grouping up on a deer. Alright, the chill fog has gone out, doing 21, 23, 7. Blinding. Try something to interrupt. I'm not sure what I could do to interrupt. And this would do burn damage. Pillar, crush the target, knocking them, and enemies in the area go prone. But they're blind. I don't even think this is going to hit. It says writ of engagement. I'm not even sure where that's going. Yeah, they got to cast their stuff anyway. Oh, it's beyond me. Let's see, here's the cool thing we get to do now. The blood sacrifice. Throw up the fire shield. Throw down the corrosive on all these guys. Corrosive, console hot's corrosive siphon on all the close by inquisitors. All right, a deer is up. I think I can a pull deer. Man, I don't even know. We're just gonna attack the steel girl Wait, initiative. This thing is the job. For a, a total of sixteen damage. Seraphin, let's uh let's drop some lightning around everyone that's See near a deer. Yes, this I cannot. Takehu, we're going to then paralyze everybody.
how many paralyzes paralyzes did we get? We got uh two misses, two grazes, and three hits. That's pretty good. Pretty broken. Consolots hits for three misses, one graze, one hit, one crit. Uh just solo currently. Well actually I don't play Stellaris at all anymore. Uh I, I mean I did play we did some multiplayer games with uh like Romaloon and Doobies. Um and I was hoping with the uh, the 2.2 patch that it would have been really good and then do more community like multiplayer games. Um, but the, the new patch, I'm just not having fun with it at all. Uh, I have like 600 hours on Stellaris. Uh, and and I, I put maybe 10 since the new patch. Uh, like as a, a reference point. Because uh, I played a lot of Stellaris. And I like it. I like modding it. But it just doesn't feel good anymore. It, there's, it's not so much like it, it feels like the current patch with Stellaris feels like I only have to care about my empire right now and and if I can manage my empire everything else doesn't matter um, whereas before I, I felt there was much more of like you know exploring expanding exterminating the 4x type thing now it feels like a fucking micro mini game um, of mismanaging right See, I don't want to play Stellaris for, like, all the micro. Like, I like the planets. I actually liked the old planet system of, of min-maxing that, even if it did come down to habitat spamming uh, and setting up freaking just, like, planets with food, minerals, and stuff like that. Now, there's just there's just too many freaking calculations going on. And, and for a game that I just want to play, like, casually, you know, take over the galaxy, nah. Nah. Not my thing. Just give me some huge fleets me. and and we'll we'll be good. And I felt like multiplayer was better even before as well. Civ six can go suck a dick. Civ six is so trash compared to Civ five. I have like six hundred hours on Civ five as well, and Civ six just I played like fifty maybe. Uh, I actually bought freaking uh uh the at the gates game and returned it as well. That shit's way too much microing for me. Did not feel good playing it right now. No can do. But yeah, Civ Five is is one of the best games ever. Civ Six, mm, mm. just uh, so the new expansion for Civ Six is supposed to come out right in February, and it's bringing like canals to it. Um, and yeah, I've never played Endless Space, but Endless Legend just came out with another another expansion that I want to pick up, and I love Endless Legend. Beyond Earth? Yeah, I have like 120 hours on it. I'm not proud. Um, but I, I liked Beyond Earth not because it was a good Civ game, uh, but because I like the aliens and the units that they pumped out. But it was it was a pretty trash game for the AI. The AI was just so dumb. Um, and and like, uh, just, yeah. Just everything about that. Like, I don't know. It just That got really repetitive as well. What do we want to do here? Uh, we can do an iconic projection. That might work out. Probably not though. Hmm. Are we still empowered? We're not. Let's empower everybody again. What the heck? The agent of Wodica is crippling strikes a logical twice, causing 25 damage, interrupting him. At least Consul Hots is healing a logical backup. The Wodica, Wodican Neophyte has shot at a deer. Hmm? That order's too tall. Basically doing nothing. Okay, where is this guy, the Wodica agent? He's right there. He's near death. May Kill him. I be a candle in the night. Double misses from a deer. That's yes. not what you want to see. Uh, a logical. Let's get another Consul Hots, uh Haunts or Consolot's corrosive siphon on everybody. Bushi, how are you, buddy? How's it going today? Consolot's go, go, go. Missed everything. Hit one. Okay, almost missed everything. Uh, can we back up a little bit and maybe just kill this Wodokan agent? Nice. 
Ooh. What was that? That was a solid 14 damage. Done no logical. We have another Asian trying to get in the back line over here. And 14... No, 26 damage done to Shoti. Alright, Takehu. Let's drop a blizzard on everybody. Um, it upscales the main story uh, only, is what I have. Critical path only. Uh, I didn't feel like everything needs to be upscaled, so every fight's like life or death. Uh, but all the... Uh, the story stuff will upscale and keep that challenging. What can I, I mean, do you for? the dam is already much more difficult. Like, if if it's a it's side quest, me. let's just enjoy some of the story. Not have to worry about uh, uh, what's all gonna go on, or like if we're gonna make it through the side quest. I think it's a great option, because, uh, yeah, it's like Decadency saying, it would be way too slow doing everything uh, like this, where every fight's going to be like, or like the fights we did yesterday, where it was like 30 minutes of fight, right? I would get, not that I would get bored of the game, but I would probably switch over to a game, at like a different game at some point instead of finishing it, and I would like to finish this game. Um, alright, Seraphin. Seraphin, Seraphin. You have, like, next to no focus. Can we maybe kill this Wodokan agent? Not doing a whole lot of damage to these guys. Well, the, the system in Oblivion was, was so easy to cheese, right? You could just, like... Not, so, well, Oblivion was you only leveled up off specific skills, right? Like the skills you set. So, the big thing to do was never take athletics as a primary skill or stealth or anything. Go to the freaking monks uh, at that one temple and just get your stealth to 100, and then you'll never level up. You'll still be level 1, and you can do that with alchemy. Just pick like shit you're not using, and nothing would level up. And you would become OP as fuck. Drop another blizzard. I mean, it was kind of, kind of shitty, but like, it made for some funny encounters. All right, the Wodokan neophyte's almost dead. Everyone's like almost dead. Sorry, give me one sec, guys. It was a bit broken. And the fact that you could, like, just save right before uh, uh, finishing the the Oblivion, like, portal, right? To get different uh, enchants from, like, the orbs uh, was also just one of the cheesy things to do. do. Welcome home, Fedinsky. Alright, Shodi. Just give me some Holy Radiance. We're gonna get some heals out. Everything's close to dying. Distractions. Shodi killed a Wodokan agent, apparently. Seraphin? What do we have left up? Like, it's so hard to see the enemies sometimes, right? We have the Steel Garrote Initiative. Initiate. And Fedinsky with the 75 hits. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, This Neophyte... Is almost dead. Let's Andy shoot her. Easy. Alright, so now we just have three enemies up, it looks like. Yes, I fear not. Alright, illogical. What can we do? We could do some bounding missiles. Uh can we back away? I don't know if that's oh, it's gonna hit us. It is. Uh it's okay. Get him backed up. Uh, Adir, you want to knock down this initiate? Yeah. Nice. Well done. Yes, Captain. All right, Takehu. Wait, Takehu's paralyzed. Not what you want to see. Bye. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to hang out with your kids. 
Dude, have a good day, Pinsky. Hang out with your family instead of me. I get it. I understand. I don't hold it against you. Oh, yeah. I, these, these are my friends now. Like, we're just like, hey, yo, what are you doing out of here? What are you doing? Uh, a deer. Man. Let's try and knock down... That's actually let's uh yeah let's knock on the same initiate. Seraphin, Seraphin, buddy pal. Uh, what if we just do like a psychic scream on everybody? And a logical, we need to do a blood sacrifice. I was afraid that was gonna do like sixty nine damage, and I'd be like, well, that sucks. Wait. I you can't use this? Come on, use console hots. Siphon, come on. That'll hit three of them. Best one is Kana in the first one. Kana was great. Kana uh, was, was a lot of fun. Though I, I'm, a, I'm partial to Durant. Just being a crazy priest. Um. Alright, can we like paralyze everything? Yes. We paralyzed two of them. I'll take it. Uh, Console hots worked. Okay. Happy to think that's beyond me. Agent is fully healed. Uh, I could do an iconic projection. Feel like this. Let's do it. That'll heal Takeo up a little bit. Uh, Illogical, you gotta like use blood magic one more time. We got some bounding missiles. Going out. They're just swinging and missing. I love it. A deer. I think I can pull that off. Just keep trying to knock them down. And missing. That's okay. That hardly seems fair. Yeah, Durance was was great in his like freaking killing oh of a god. And everyone else. Out my wheelhouse, friend. I right, probably should kill the Only Inquisitor. Lower away. Uh, another attack, Cap. Bye. Hmm. Oh, Seraphine gets to go again. Okay, maybe not the Inquisitor. Sixty-three, eighty-one. Okay, she has way too much. Damn, these things have seventy-six, eighty-one, fifty-five, Out seventy-nine. My wheelhouse, friend. Okay, we should call the agent. He's like the weakest. Speak your mind. Takehu. A blizzard upon everyone. Do it. Grieving Mother? I did like the Grieving Mother. Though my favorite like story in the first pillar is like the side quest was the one where where you go and it kill like the agents of uh of uh the black leaden key, right? And then they have like the daughter that they're sacrificing, and you find out like it's her dad that's been like raping her and shit and trying to get rid of her. And you go to the inn and you just fuck him up upstairs with all his men. I think that's beyond it was like me. the most fucked up quest, but it was like definitely the most like memorable one as well. I was like, oh shit, shit's getting real, boys. Yes. All right, what do we got? More bounding missiles, maybe? Oh, that was a, th a thirsty 34 on a deer. Something I can a deer. Do. What, do you, what do you got? Let's throw some extra defense up. Maybe let's also uh, use our discipline barrage. We're going to we take go. a hit. Five. Okay. That's not it. That was actually a lot of damage, which was nice. Wow, that was a big heal. Okay. Ne Wodaka Neophyte. You're dying next. I didn't even realize you could, you could do so much say. healing. For Mother Ngati. Now, uh, now she's dead. All right. Yeah. Oh, the little kind of agents over here now. We can become a shark, and we'll try and take him out. Yes. Uh, blood magic. Yes. What do we get? Console hots. We'll take it. Hmm? 
Sorry, uh, can't. Adir, just attack this one. Five. Slowly but surely, we'll, we'll get him down, right? Ah, wow. Right. That missed everybody. Um... Got some damage out. Boy. That'll work. Okay, Seraphin, can we just Sammy. soul ignite maybe this agent? Six fire resist. Uh, the Inquisitor has no fire resist. What does soul ignite count as, actually? Water frost. No, counters water frost. It counts as burn. Okay. Let's try and get this guy down, actually. Me too, man. <laughs> Chris Evelyn. Is that uh, the Durant's character? Uh, voice actor? Because, yes. Yours and too difficult, it's I a said. shame he hasn't shown up yet. I'm holding out hope. Hmm? All right. Um. Blood magic. My wounds remain. Second wind. Console hot again. Oh, it's the narrative narrative designer. Sure, I can. Yeah, I, I don't. Is just the storytelling you mean? Storytelling so far here has been nice. I wish they didn't all have uh, uh, all the the weird names though that I have to pronounce and remember. Console keeps missing because it's a be fort enough. save. Oh, well that would make that would make too much sense. Faltering. <laughs> I have to figure all this stuff out then. Oh, his character is green weather. Time okay. To separate the chaff. <laughs> That's nice that you know that. I would never have have realized that or even thought about friend. thinking okay. about the people behind the scenes. I never played Planescape Torment. This thing isn't doing the job. Well then, console hot. What say? I thought it was just bad, right? Or us being bad, because let's see, we rolled a 55 actually there, a 62, an 8, and a 16. To Kehu, to Kehu. Uh, Your bones will feed the land. We're like never gonna get these people down. You're back while making lunch, Zinsky. I know, I like need to run upstairs for like three minutes, but I'm trying to finish this fight before I need to. Huh. Mm -hmm. So hoping it all works out. All right, this. I'm not doing fortified saves. Let me double check that then. So yeah, it's accuracy versus fortitude. What are we trying to hit then? This is what, accuracy versus deflection? How do I know it's what? It just says defense 76, 81, 55, 79. I'm assuming 79 is mental. 55 deflection, maybe. Give that a try. What can I do you for? No can do. Chody with a wonderful 17. What do you need? I'm better than that. Double miss. Press C. Well, now I forgot. I already forgot what I was asking about. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Deflection, fortitude, reflex, will. Okay, that's good to know. Yes, I ain't my thing, Sammy. Um, Seraphim, what do you got? You got like nothing on us. We'll be slicing a stem to stern. Keep shooting those blunderbusses. Uh, we're only at two songs. Oh, let's become a shark. This will not do. That did a decent amount of damage. Blood magic again. All right, what do we have? This one is versus fortitude as well. This is verse fortitude, so that's not going to go well. Um, verse will. 
These guys have a lot of will. Uh, this one doesn't, but it's almost dead anyway. And this is... Penetration 8, Crush, or Corrode. Fear not. We can do Corrode damage with it. That's not it. That was a decent amount of damage. Alright, we're gonna get smarter about Heavy about oblige. what we're using things then, or how we're using things. The darkness. Wait, these are humans. I need to get the killing blow with the logical on one of these. Savvy. Damn him, blood like frog in the figurehead. Uh I don't think a deer will kill him. Hey, okay, didn't kill him, good job. At your service. Uh we can now paralyze them all. Or one of them, I'll take it. Oh? Alright, illogical. Like Melee him to death. I got you. We're gonna level up that sword. What can I do you for? Let's reap this raw wind. What for, Cap? Another attack, Cap. Oh man, his like AoE thing almost think I can pull that almost did too much damage there. What say? When you pick a move and highlight the enemies, it shows the percent chance to hit. I know, I saw there was a bunch of stuff on top. I just, like, didn't really care. What can I do you for? I think that's beyond me. I can see that's a 63%, 0, 100. 100%. So is it at. Okay. I guess we should figure this out, right? So is that 63% chance to hit and 100% of the damage will be done as Pierce? I'm assuming how to read that. The chaff. Yes. We missed. I fear not. So we had 39% chance to hit with 25% of the damage hitting. Finish that. Oh good. We just gotta keep this guy around for a while. Something I can do. <laughs> I need something stronger. What for, Cap? Seraphin, I don't really want you to attack him because I'm afraid you're gonna kill this guy, and I want to kill him with, with my sword. Um Lee versus Will. Yeah, all right. Didn't kill him, thankfully. What just happened? Oh, it deactivated spirit shift shark. Yeah, I think that's beyond me. Hmm? Come on, Illogical, you can do it, I believe. Oh my gosh, we're never gonna hit this guy, are we? Alright, we killed her. What for, Cap? Seraphin, uh, back up and just, just end your turn, buddy. What for, Cap? At your service. Okay, who? Uh, you wanna just paralyze him? Nope, not that one. I wanna just paralyze him. It missed. Yeah. All right, Shodi, just back up and turn. Oh, it's beyond me. Oh, yes, it. we did it. <laughs> hey, all right, talk to Modwir. <laughs> that was amazing. You're so great at healing things. I mean, really great. Wow, I feel incredible. Can we do it again? We probably can. All right. So, what does she need next? Uh, deal fifteen hundred damage to Kith enemies. That so that doesn't have to be with just the sword, right? That can be like with just any spell, I think. Or does it need to be with the sword? It needs to be with the sword. Well, we're in a little bit of a tough spot. All right. Let me quick save it before we uh, continue with this. Though I need to uh, run upstairs real quick. And I'll be back in like, like three minutes. So give me just a moment, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, I apologize. I am back. <laughs> Sorry that took so long. Uh, mom and her boyfriend are moving like freaking uh, file cabinets and stuff around in the garage and need some help because they're freaking heavy. So, yeah. Okay, what do we got going on here? We got a temple altar and we got Oswald. Let's talk to him first. I owe you a debt too large to repay, stranger. He wrings his hands and gives you a shaky smile. How did you ever find me all the way out here? Did Inalis send you? And, uh, who? A friend from the uh, the wild mare in Nekitaka. You know, or maybe you don't. <laughs> well, never mind that. Wait, was this a bounty that we, like, didn't have access to yet, probably? A deep red bluish creeps across his wrinkled cheeks. Those steel garrot zealots have been after me for decades. Good riddance. So about my reward. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, indeed. His attention is suddenly diverted by an apparently fascinating stain on the hem of his robe. You're broke, aren't you? Yes. Unfortunate business mishap. It's a quest you get, so we just missed it. You know how it is, I'm sure. God, we spent like freaking like 12 hours, it felt like, in Niktaka. Uh, in Nikitaka and stuff, and we still miss shit. Oh my god. He titters nervously and twists the hem of his robe in his hands, unwilling to meet your eye. So I came all this, all the way out here for nothing. Well, not nothing. You did save my life after all. Perhaps I could uh, make it up to you. You have a ship, yes? Of course you do. How else would you have gotten to this benighted island? He shifts his weight from foot to foot, restless and unsettled. Let me join your crew. Uh, welcome aboard, Oswald. Thank you, my friend. I owe you a debt twice over. He gives you a toothy grin and stands a hand's breadth taller. I wonder who was supposed to give us the quest, though. But I'm glad we found him. I wonder if he's a good crewmate. Uh, Alright, we got a skull of prayer for the spirit. The smart for ten rounds. The Amatica God of Cold. Young students are often confused by Bareth and Rimgrad's seemingly overlappingly roles, overlapping roles in holding dominion, dominion over death. Bareth oversees the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Rimgrad oversees the cold, destructive act of death itself. This difference is often difficult for novices to appreciate until they've lost a loved one and endured the absence for a time. It is Bareth that determines we will be reborn just as certainly as we will die, but Rimgrand is the executioner's axe. Rimgrand shows us that all life ends in stillness. Con the tavern, Nekataka. Well, I figured it was in the tavern, because that's where it said, right? I just, I didn't know which person that was, because I thought we had talked to most of them, if not all of them. Uh, I need only show you the symbol of Rimgrand, the bone white Aurex skull found and carved within the, ancient, in, within the most ancient of Nguithian ruins. It is a symbol of death and doom in every culture. Any child with four winters under his belt needs no introduction to the ancient symbol. Rim Grand embodies not just death, but all, magnif mag all manifestations of collapse, be they famine, plague, or simply bad luck. Rim Grand is a primal god, silent and inscrutable as death itself. He makes himself known with the passing, not by proclamation. There are innumerable stories of the god's terrifying passage through the lands of Aeora. When the beast of winter stirs, bitter winds and beastly fowl... Beastly howling followed the creature's every move. Wherever the beast plants a hoof, all life withers into dust. The faithful of Rimgrand insist that uh, even another god's life can end in stillness. They claim the other gods must flee from the beast of winter's mastery over death, but we know not if this bold boast holds true. Though the beast of winter is shrouded in snowy clouds, those who have seen the shaggy white monster claim that the souls of the fallen can be seen clinging, or perhaps frozen, to the beast fur. The dwarves of the Boreal South have numerous stories that tell a similar plot. A brash hero seeks out the Beast of Winter to rescue the souls trapped in its fur. These tales never end well, for even if the hero saves the beloved soul, or his beloved soul, the hero dies in the process. For it is not a proper tale of Rimgrand unless the hero's life ends in stillness. Just did it yourself? Nice. Then uh, I, I clearly missed somebody. I'll have to go find it. Alright, we have some more shit to kill here. And this statue of Wodaka extends so far below that you can't see its feet. We have this this room that uh, caused us trouble last time up this way.
Now we know that there's a couple here, so I sense a predator in the water. there's one there. There was a couple here. Maybe they're they're not here now. What just happened? Oh, hold on, hold on. Where's Where's Shodi? Shodi, give me your freaking light. Uh -huh. There's a room here. Okay. Hmm. Part of the game is missing stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's why it's gonna take multiple playthroughs. No, I have not gone. I've we've like. Uh. We have gone from Nekataka, which is like right here, right, to this island, and that's it. That that is all we have made in like yesterday. We did like nine hours of this game, and, and most of it was in Nekataka, uh, and then just getting to this island and doing this temple. We have done like next to nothing. I see so all right. Um. Finish them. Let's just see what happens here. Darkness. One ready. Yes. 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 All right, Shodi. Shodi, back up. We need to kill things and not be near it. Well, so my only complaint so far about having too much to do is um, I don't like having to, to go back and forth between loading screens, right? Just to do simple quest. Um, and the the issue I have so far with Nekataka is there's so many fucking loading screens to go do fucking simple quest um, that, that it kind of gets old. Right, and, and I have that problem with a lot of games. Like, like Skyrim does a very good job of when you enter a cave, having an exit at the end it gets you back to the front. Um, this game has done some of that on some level, uh, but like, we went up to like to the the top of the tower. We went and talked to the prince, and we went back to like other areas and found some stuff. Then had to go back to that area to go to the house to steal the freaking conch shell to go back to the freaking, uh, uh, the, the barrels or whatever they're called, uh, like the undercity area, you know, to go back to to the the paper cut scene to go talk to the guy who then sent us back to an area of pirates where we killed shit like that. Just just you know, it, it's, I'm not complaining about it. I like the story so far, but like. If, if, we're, if we're gonna start nitpicking, that's where I'm nitpicking, you know? Uh, alright. How do we wanna do this? So these guys you? weren't showing up before, but they're still here now. Um... If we pop this... We don't wanna pop that yet. Okay, we're going back to the crossbow. Yes. On him. Uh, illogical, we're gonna back up as well. Uh, let's do. I fear. Well, hmm. Who explodes? Which one of these? The pestilent rock cast? Is it? I think it's the pestilent rock cast. Uh, they have 35, 37, 31, 63. So they're very, they're pretty non-resistance to fortitude rolls. Shockingly. Um. What's fireball? First reflex. Reflex is the third one. It's beyond me. 43, 43, 43. Um This is verse deflection. Deflection the first one, yes. Okay. Uh Fear not. 25, 25. 25, 35. All right, let's do let's do some bounding bolts to begin with. Uh, Seraphin, we're just gonna take a shot at the rock cast. Pagalina, and kill, keep blue for man. Need a free Sinzadi. Side it. What do you do? All custom characters. Uh, or I don't I don't know. So I don't have Palagina in currently. Uh. I, we like have never had her and we like met her and then did nothing. I don't know if I can answer that very well. She's good. She was a cypher as well, wasn't she actually? Now that I think about it. Okay, we need to put this like down here. Blind him maybe. No, Paladin. Oh. Yeah. No clue. 
if she's good or not. We're just using a deer as our tank, and that's it. And then we have like a logical now, which I, which was a battle mage, my main character. Oh, these guys are getting too close. We're not gonna be able to like kill them quickly enough. We're probably gonna have to rest after doing this fight. Is what's gonna happen. People are gonna die, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's beyond me. Shodi, do you think you can actually like burn them? I mean, that's gonna go pretty quickly. We might be able to kill him. Uh, Takehu. Get another blizzard out. A logical the fireball. Oh, we could like bring the damage up quite a bit. Wait, do they have fire resistance? They have a lot of fire resistance. That's not gonna do much. Um we do 100% of the damage. Yeah, we'll use the bounding missiles. What do you need? I didn't realize how much fire resistance they had when I cast that burning uh, ability. What for, Cap? Seraphin. Honestly, can I just dominate this? 63, 13. We could dominate this rock ass. Blizzard's doing a healthy amount of damage. Bounding missiles did a healthy amount of damage. We got these guys in the back. Oh yeah, we, we got the broken parts, right? Uh, I wanna like figure out how we do that quest. Cause it's, uh, it's a part of like, well, I mean, we were using that weapon on our monk. Uh, Cause I was playing the burning lashing monk or whatever it's called in my uh, last playthrough. Which was super powerful. <laughs> All right, so I don't know which ones blow work. up, but but this is concerning me a little bit. Uh, can you come here? Paralyze three of the four. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Not sure I can. Um, I think it's these pestilent guys that blow up. Back up. I'll light the darkness. That was a near death kill. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, let's use a little blood magic. Yeah. Now, what's our fortitude? Our fortitude's all very high. Well, this one's not. 37. 71. 71. Okay, let's get the bounding bolts off again. Okay. Um. A deer, can you just. Oh, wait, they're paralyzed. So that'll be fine. That order's too tall. Can't make a dent. 23 isn't bad. Okay, that killed one. It didn't look like it blew, blew up on us. Uh, Seraphin, you wanna kill this one maybe? Did a solid amount of damage. All right, we're gonna move our guys into this room away from these and kite. I don't know what, what they're gonna do. Takehu, can you like come over here and just drop a blizzard? Logical, same type of thought. Uh, we're gonna come over here, throw down the blood magic, get some more bounding missiles. Shoddy, got a melody. Um, yeah, come here. Go. Man, I want to switch back to the Hercicle Shield. I don't want to drop Concentrated Ground. Hey. 
Sorry, friend. Uh, okay. a deer. Keep attacking this Take one. That. What for, Seraphin, you're in a kind of good position. Oh, Just stay Captain. there. So what about nothing else matters, dude? Wait, what, what do you mean? So what about nothing else matters? Oh my god, that did so much damage. Oh, I haven't listened to it. Uh, cause I, I got off last night at like... It was, I know it was much later for you, but it got off like late. Uh... And then I went and made some food and watched Beninsky and went to bed. It's still written down to listen to. I'll get to that hopefully tonight. Too difficult, I say. But yeah, that freaking bounding missiles did freaking 18, 17, 21, 18, 25, 19. That was crazy. Uh, we can paralyze people as well now. Alright, we gotta try paralyzing these. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. Alright, Shodi, uh... This other guy didn't blow up. Do these guys blow up? If this guy blows up... It's going to be difficult to deal with. Oh. Keep popping some blood magic. Keep getting those bounding missiles off. Yeah? Sorry, friend. I can't. Deer with a 19, we can take what that. Seraphin, you're at 70. Oh my god, we could do horrifying cries, except for the fact they're already paralyzed. Uh, they all have resistance to fire, so that doesn't really do much. Uh, do they have resistance to lightning? No. I'll pop that off a deer. That wasn't bad, not nearly as good. Oh god, he's gonna blow up. Death March, we're not gonna be able to go. Oh no. So it is these guys that blow up. All right, we were far enough away. Thank goodness. I'm like scarred from freaking last night when we were dealing with those guys, right? Okay, you know what we ha we need to do is we need to like come over here, like come like right here. Be like, hey, knock these two away from a deer. Um, this is versus fortitude. It only has 37 fortitude. Okay, let's get a necrotic lance on this one. Uh, Shodi, shoot that one. Something I can do, deer. Keep working on that one. That wasn't half bad. 28's not bad. This will not do. Only knocked one away. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta move Seraphin. Nice. What for, Cap? Cardic Lance just did how much? 60? 60 with 34 per say. round? Uh, yeah, come over here, Seraphin. I'll be chopping you to chum. Uh, another attack, Cap. That actually might be a kill on the next Necrotic Lance hit. Oh. Alright, Rock Ass walking up. We're gonna have to do something with him. Alright, so he's gonna do his death march. Uh, is there any way I can push him back? I don't know. Uh, alright, we can try one thing. Pretty much have to use, like, wait. This is gonna do 15 to 27. And penetration. What does it roll against? It's attack not miss and reliably interrupt. At your service. Well, that was close to being a kill. Uh, if only this was instant, which it's not. Um, 
I think a deer will be okay. We're gonna try and knock him back again anyway. Oh, it did interrupt him. That's good. Chody's gonna help out with this one. Uh, a deer hit this one for now. Seraphin, you wanna shoot this guy? Be more than off handy, or? Hundred focus. Oh, the double miss. We're just not having the best of luck today. Okay, so he's not ready to blow up yet. I really was hoping we'd hit that and I would kill it. Now we're getting flanked. We're gonna have to move these guys away. Ooh, was that a logical? Yeah, rock ass worm puddle. A 22, is that on the ground or something and I'm not seeing it? You have my attention. Hmm. Too difficult, I say. Um to Kehu. Yo. Paralyzed all three. That's the way to do things. Um Alright, so this is gonna do five to eight crush. They have a lot of crush armor, so that's not great at all. Uh, tentacles can do crush and corrode. And mobilize anything they hit. Uh, those actually might be poison based, which is probably a bad thing. Yeah. No, corrode isn't the same as poison and disease. This thing isn't doing the job. Near death, almost. Seraphin. Oh Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, how is that rock ass not dead? That guy just decided to blow himself up. At your service. He was actually like, pretty full on health. Uh, Takehu. Back up over this way. Too difficult, I say. We're like never gonna kill that guy, are we? Product no. lance on him. Oh wait, that's fortitude base. Yeah. Uh, that's not gonna hit. That sucked. Hey, I don't think I can pull that off. Okay, we killed one of them. Captain. Be right screwed. That actually hit. We rolled a 71 on it for a graze. Okay, I can work with that. Did not think we would get it, but we did. Tentacles are doing a decent amount of damage. Um, we have these two left. We have no resistance to cold. Accuracy versus fortitude, though, for blinded. Take this. Damn. I actually like wanted like a tier two or tier three spell. Hmm. Um. Oh, you know what we should look at, though, real quick? We've done a bunch of damage, haven't we? Can we see? It says we've done zero. So, let's see. If we do a hit with the sword, yes. will that count as damage towards that weapon? I fear not. Still says zero out of 1,500. And we That's just did service. what? 29 plus 4 fire damage. Um, Alright, we'll have to check at the end of the fight. Oh, it's on Kith. That's right. These are not Kith. Yeah. Kith are humans. Why can't they just say humans? There's, there's a lot of freaking information to have to remember. In my poor brain. This just doesn't do a good job at remembering all the time. Captain. 
frog in the figurehead. Futile. This rock ass is just hanging out there still. And the tentacles like not even reach. What was that? Silver Tide hits us, but a worm puddle. Okay, so when they die. Um. Some too difficult to keep that guy paralyzed. What can I do you for? Shody, come here. Use a holy radiance. Mm hmm. Why are you giving me tier one spells? That's not what I want. There we go. I'll take a tier three. I'll take bounding. Hey, I don't think I can pull that off. Captain, I are captain. Another attack, Cap. I mean, those bounding missiles should kill him, and then we have this one last guy to deal with. Wow, that worm puddle. We're standing in apparently is doing command, Captain. quite a bit of damage. Ooh, that's too much. Show me where to bite. This does not work. Mm -hmm. All right, so everyone just needs to be arranged. And oh, we have a sword. Fuck, I forgot. Shit. What can I do you for? Hate when you do things like that. Not sure. We I need can. to get away from this guy and leave our sword people close. Hey. Or like. Back up, right? What for, Cap? This guy's gonna explode at some point. Chum. Chum. Uh, another attack, Cap. Yes. All right, a logical backup. Um, we're just gonna throw a concussive missile at you. What do you need? A deer, I don't really care if you do anything. To try Speak else. your mind. That, too that did like I nothing. Say. Uh your story ends here. Stay away. Happy to oblige. Stay away from him. Captain. <laughs> uh, another attack, Cap. The staff for which is good for Takeo when he buffs. Yeah. Plant spells, you use it to forget to change back. That costs one round if you F it up. We buff plant spells. You use it to forget to change back, but now it costs one round, so you fuck it up. That order's too tall. Uh, maybe I'm not understanding what you mean, right? So when he buffs plant spells, use it to forget to change back. Do you mean from Shark? Uh, who is this? Is a deer? Let me just knock him down, maybe. Speak Dude, there's mind. so much fucking damage coming out here. This I cannot do. Paralyzed mist. Oh, and you use them to buff your party. Okay, interrupted. Yeah. Not sure I can. Oh, then you use the change for range. Ahoy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess you're saying. Yeah, I freaking because he has a shield sword. I was like, oh, we forgot to switch the wands. This isn't that big of a deal? Like frog in the figurehead. Futile. But yeah, switching weapons takes one around now, which kind of, kind of can be a pain in the ass. But I get it. Okay. Yes, Captain. Come on. You ask too much. Kill him. No we did it. Oh my gosh. With no one dying or being exploded upon. That fight took a while. A lot longer than I would have liked. Uh, the water roils with the teeming of countless tiny maggots. Let's get your lantern back out. I shall make it so. Stilettos, caves, oil of allure, two bluff, two diplomacy, two intimidate, two streetwise. 
Guessing by the thick layers of dust on these stone slabs, they haven't been used recently. Or should we quick save it? There was a room here. Okay, there's a I'm bunch so of stuff. Aquamarine, Azata string shells. Some extra loot. Okay, I think we're fully done with this temple. We can head out of here. At least, like, this is kind of nice, right? That'll give us a way back to the top. Like Skyrim esque. I shall make it so. The statue decorating this small shrine has been dusted and polished to a shrine. So, at least they learned here. It's just like the major city. Oh my god. So much running back and forth. Alright, I need to go refill my water though, real quick. So, give me just like 30 seconds, guys, and I will be right back. Can't find the Vithrak brain, and you don't want to kill Vithrax. I don't know what quest that's for. But I'm sure, uh, why not at some point. Or maybe did I kill Vithrax? I don't remember. I don't think we've killed Vithrax yet. For enchantment. Oh! Yeah, I haven't even looked at the enchanting or anything yet. I feel too poor to really want to, uh, Try and get into that. Alright, so we did the Oathbinder Sanctum. We have food, we have water. You come upon the site of an ancient battle. A ready standard snaps in the breeze, its color leached by the sun. You take some time to explore the battlefield and find nothing of value. You wander the length of the battlefield. There's nothing left of any value. What a... What a shitty freaking little spot to... To have as an option, right? Just nothing there. Nothing out here. I make sure you use your mat. It's hard to get some. Oh, use your mats wise, like use them smartly. Gotcha. Uh, I'll have to like figure out what's even worth. Enchanting. It looks like we can enchant like a ton of stuff, right? So far, like our weapons. That's what the little pluses mean, right? Terrans are spite. I mean, Mogren's Blessing we should probably enchant. We can make it legendary for 30,000. Oh my god. Greater fire shield. Not enough material. We need primal flames. Purifying flame. How can I see what that does? Beginning of combat, the wilders engulfed in fire, increasing their freeze armor rating. Enemies damaged by their retaliation attacks, the duration of their benefic beneficial effects reduced. The wilder gains increased freeze armor, and the retaliation attacks deal additional damage. 
10% damage dealt is burn. 20% chance to interrupt with attacks or Mogum's blessing on hit. Uh, wait. If you are still on, I am still on Path of the Dam. Uh, you want pen. Path of the pen and AR. And isn't it a medium shield? My editor has so good items he can kill everyone's soul. Isn't that a medium shield? It is a medium shield. Medium one handed shield. It does damage. It's great. Bogren's Blessing is fantastic. Sixty percent damage, four pen. Minus one def one deflection, minus one target action speed. Those both seem like trash. Also, cancels is an offhand weapon. Yeah, it, it does damage. Oh yeah, offhand weapon. Grants fire shield. I love this shield. I'm so glad we stole this. Well worth it. Okay, so this could be less crush damage, less slash damage. I don't want to care about either of those right now. I don't care about her stuff either. What about his? Blinding smoke. Disorienting cone attack towards target on crit. 20% damage against less than 2.5 meter tar distant targets. Need a heavy armor and a deer? Probably. If, I wonder if we have one. But he has like his Saints War armor, right? Gets second chance, which is really good. If he does go down. He's a brigantine. He hasn't really been dying at all. So it's not the worst thing to put on him. We can give it a try. No, not that common trash. I mean, it gives better defense. All this is giving a second wind or a second chance, right? They look the same stats, just two more armor rating. Oh, uh, what was this? Let's get a smart. What do we have here? Why do we have a bunch of jack junk on here? Not what's supposed to happen. What is this? 20% action speed with ranged attacks, 25% miss compared to graze with ranged attacks. When you get something better? Okay, we'll keep our eyes out for a better chest. Uh, so what were we trying to do? We already did the Cavern of Zok Turok. Or Zar Tuk Tuk. Um, now we have this guy on our ship as well. He is a novice navigator. Helmsman and navigator. Cook deckhand. I think we have our people positioned properly. Surgeon, cooks... Cannoneers, Cannoneer, Helmsman, Deckhand, Deckhand. Alright. Um, so we're going to Fort Deadlight, that's right. And just kind of exploring on the way there. We got enough food and water for a while. Minus one morale. So what happens if the morale gets too low? Bonus experience minus 10%. So maybe we need to pick up some better food. You need a better food? I know I do. We haven't like bought any any good food at all. How do I how do I get to the food? Here we go. Our loaf. Maybe. Um minus one dex, that's actually not that's okay. 
dex is like kind of trash. Resolve. Does it grab him like left to right? Or will it grab place plus from around? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like it grabs from left to right. Uh, what else do we have? We have rice. Rice isn't bad to have even. Doesn't give negative morale, but oh my god. Lays chops, seven morale, three might, 30% healing. And I'm, I'm not giving that to just my crew. We'll use that for when we rest. Morale. Going higher up there. that even the cow copper leaf Some rum sure give him the rum and what's this arax sure why not you only need to increase their morale so don't be greedy you really need to increase their morale so don't be greedy i'm not going to give them a plus seven though for three might and 30% healing. That's going to be a food buff I give someone after you rest, right? Because that's going to be a lot more valuable on my characters than it will be on the Karoo. We're going to be greedy as fuck with that. Okay, so we're almost to Fort Deadlight. Don't eat the Glaze Chops? Why not? You'll need them? Like for a quest or something? Harmless fruit make, uh, and cracking meat make for a sweet savory dish. Ooh, a shipwreck. Let's come see the shipwreck real quick. Alright, we got one morale. One morale. It actually paid off. You find an abandoned... Wow, half buried in the sand. Wind whistles through gaping holes in its hull, making the sun bleached wood creak and moan. Unopened cargo crates lie scattered around the wreckage. Sift through the wreckage. We take some time to support the wreckage and find a crate of adventuring supplies. Continue searching the ship. Uh, ship supplies. 20 medicine, okay. Uh, 10 lager. Lager. Repair supplies, bulb fire kelp, and that was it. You get candy nuts, don't eat them? Okay. What did we pick up though? We did pick up some uh, larger. Get that on the, uh, for the, the crew. And yeah, that'll be good for now. All right, ooh, what's this? Wait, what are these things? Repair supplies? Is that just it? We're already like capped out. Through the distant haze of sea mist and rocky shallows, Fort Deadlight rises over the horizon. Approaching a pirate stronghold is a risky venture, and even for the most skilled of mariners, any ship not flying a Principi flag that's sighted in Deadlight Shallow may be raided. Uh, Abidon's iron scrote cap. Wait, iron scrote cap. Them guns be bigger. Oh, Abidon's iron scrote cap. Them guns be bigger than I remember. Took me a second to realize I was Seraphim saying something. <laughs> Seraphim looks up at the fortress from the deck and hails through his teeth. I can be uh, vouchsafing you with the guards if you can begin us to the dock without being blasted to bits thrice over. Otherwise, I recommend the sneakiest approach you got. Hmm. Yeah. Um. We can hoist up the Prince Shippy flag, even though I kind of hate them. Hoist up a Prince Shippy flag and dock at Deadlight's port. With a Principi flag flapping wildly from your mast, you smoothly sail into port and moor up at the dock. The docks are crawling with sailors of all ages and races, many of them wearing mismatched battle-torn outfits, guns strapped to their thighs and chest. They load and unload cargo holds, arms brawny, grinning, faces sun-blistered, and as they laugh and curse and shout and hack, 
slam onto the splintered boards of the dock. From the bustle, Princeshipi guards emerge up to hail your arrival. Satisfied with appearance, they nod you on, and make your uh, and you make your way up to the fort main gate. And Keen other travel, thank you for the follow, dude. Princeshipi. Principi? I thought thought we went through this yesterday. It was the Principi. I, I'm still going to say it wrong. You can correct it all you want. It's still going to get said wrong. Let's just be honest. It's taken me how many days to freaking say Shodi? Instead of Zodi? To me, it just reads Zodi. I don't know what that means. Stress on the first eye. Principi. Principi? No more casual. You guys are gonna, gonna have to give me like English lessons because yeah, I just I just can't say words. All right, Snake Eyes Condowin. Hey, might I help you out of a bit of money, Squab? Care to join our fun, or is it swilling information you're chasing? The pirate looks you over, eyeing the make of you. A sly smile curls at his mouth as he tosses a pair of dice to rattle over the cobblestone ground. I'm looking for Captain Benwith. I ain't my captain's keeper, and I know better than to ask what business you've got with Brutal Ben. He jerks his head once to the right. You might check the court for him. If he ain't target practicing, he's tickling the harpsichord or taking his swill. Two out of the three can be done there. But if you see him, don't fucking tell him I sent you. He rolls a spare die over the top of his fingers, making it appear and disappear with fluid, fluid flicks of his hand. Farewell. Alright, uh, can we just loot this stuff? We can. What the heck's up here? From the upper ramparts, a wooden crane suspends a pallet stacked with heavy black casks over the cobblestone courtyard. The pallet groans, swings slightly, while its hempen rope creaks from the strain. Um, shoot an arrow, cast a spell to break the cargo's rope? I mean, this all sounds like a bad idea, doesn't it? That's like that's somebody's cargo, right? We'll have to see. I shall make it so. I don't know if I'm ready to just uh, do that out of the get-go. Lamp, oil barrels everywhere, pirates. Let's see, where are we? So we have the eastern ramparts. Got a merchant over here. No nut, Ned. Ain't even possible that. What'll it be, Swabby? Show me what you've got for sale. Right away. Uh, we probably have a ton of stuff that we can sell. Hang on to the grimoires. We want to take a look at those again. Any point? Okay. Try to listen to how it sound that you stress the second eye. Principi. 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 Uh, like I don't. I don't know what you mean though when you say like you stress. I stress the second eye. Principi. Princi. So it's the second eye is si, right? Princi. E. Principi. Principi. Prime Sippy. You pressure the first I letter. But I, I like Prime Prime Sippy? Prime Sippy. Is that how I would say it? Then I'll have to listen for when they say it again. It's really the, the only way I'm gonna hear it. Prince Shippy. Prime Shippy. <laughs> I don't think it matters much. Honestly, I'm not going to spend much more time on it. Okay, so five all defenses for when you become bloodied. Pretty good. Pretty good. What else do we have here? Do we have some heavy armor maybe that might be worth picking up? Killer gloves. 10% crit damage with weapons. Eight reflex. We have water and hard tack. Okay, what else do we have to sell? What's this helmet we have? Did I not even realize we picked something up? One perception, one religion, one insight. 
The Cow of the Piercing Gaze. Wodica's Wisdom. Ooh. Actually sounds thrilling. Oh, we got lots of freaking armor to sell. Alright. Uh, so there's 10,000. Okay, let me take a look at this helmet. I didn't even realize we had uh, a helmet. So perception, religion, insight. Perception is good, right? Because perception gives accuracy, oh, ability to hit. Um, Captain's eye. While not flanked, the wearer has resistance to perception affliction. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll give it over to uh, this little guy for now. Oh my God! Look at him. Look at that face mask. It's like something out of Skyrim. That whole temple was like a Skyrim experience. Ahoy, Captain Skidawin. Oh, Captain. Oh. I've got to come clean about something, and now be as good a time as not. Uh, what is it? Much as I hate Benwith, the main reason I signed up with you were uh, to get here. To get a chance to look for a man named Romaro. Irked, Shodi runs her tongue over her teeth. Uh, who is Romero? No, that'd be a longer story than we've got time for. Quick of it be that uh, Romaro's in trouble. The Prince should be have sent a ship hunter after him. And I've got to need an hour after okay, finding him missed, first. Okay, I miss how he said Principi. Isn't that how he said it? Principi. 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 God damn it. I need like a freaking ship, so probably not. But mayhaps we could keep a weather eye open for clues Prince... to his whereabouts. Principi. Alright, I'll try that. Man, they need to like have a freaking like just like way to, to play back the audios for me. Alright, let's go look for clues. That'll be fine. Principi. That's what he just said. He said Principi. Think this'll break me. It won't. Spit on me, and I'll make you regret it. One day, surely. Why are you being punished? Those hagfish. Ben West's crew lashed me up to be, and I quote, a deterrent to insubordination. It's shark shit. All I did was filch one of their horns and blast it to start lung with. I wanted to see it get all worked up. Ben West's crew uses horn blast for an alarm? Well, sure. But shouldn't you know this? On account of you being a cat? She tilts her head back, gazing suspiciously at you from beneath her lashes. I used to sail to Ferrante. He runs things differently. That he does, the master rogue. You should have come to us sooner. We're accepting of even old bloods if they're wanting to run fresh. I'll cut you loose. Not that I ain't grateful, but if Ben's crew spots me about, they'll be taking more than my pride next. Don't get caught again. Suppose I'll do my best. She flicks you a, smi a sly smile in parting. And she's like, look at her just crab walk across. All right, Bushi, have a good day, buddy. And, or, or good night, I guess, all right? It's definitely late. I ain't doing too much tonight. Because it is Sunday, and it's like... I try to, like, take a day off a week, at least. And, uh... I just want to get a few hours of this in. Okay, let's go talk to Mineo. He groans too weak to lift his head. Okay, so what do we have here? Do we have the dungeons, the forge, the underground docks? Um, I've arrived at Deadlight. Benwith is somewhere in the fort. Once I uncover his location, I can worry about how to reach him. I docked in Fort Deadlight's port as a fellow pirate. If the others discover my ruse, it could lead to trouble. Benwith's guards use a horn to alert the fort to the presence of danger. Um, hmm. The court first? Okay. That's what I was thinking. Work tomorrow, swim school, and group training sessions. Do instructor and work both and work at the gym. Nice. You're gonna have to give me some tips because I've been spending my time trying to improve my health. I go introduce That's what we were Siri, we were I doing it on stream for a while. Something. Uh, with XCOM and stuff, but then now I just do my workouts. Uh, before starting down. 78 pounds because I gained a little bit of weight 
somehow uh, in the past like year and a half. Pretty great. Seraphin frowns, scratching his furred cheek. Go on. I might have said things to Siri when I last dropped anchor at Deadlight. Just love his words, Savvy. But I can't say I rightly lived up to him. I ain't saying he's a problem, just uh, You as well, Bushi. Have a good night. Chart. <laughs> Shoti puffs out a heated breath. Good to know. All I'm saying is, uh, you see a go for a pistol, you best step away from me. Uh, hope you got a pox and all your nibs fall off. Siren the Siren. Alright, let's talk to Siren for Siri. And Orlin's large eyes grow larger as you approach, then narrow to a sharp edge. Her hands briefly ball into fists before finding their way to her hips. With a sharp twist of her head, she flips seaweed green hair over one shoulder. Look who finally washed back up ashore. The edge to her words matches the sharpness of her teeth. Seraphin winces. Ahoy there, Siri. Uh, miss me? Did I miss you? She growls, oh. a low, prolonged sound. Like a fish misses water, you gutless bastard. For the first few weeks, anyhow. Till it turned to confusion and worry. You said you'd write every night, didn't you? Then where were the birds or the boats with your poems and pages? You saying our pirate's a poet? Shodi turns wide eyes to Seraphin, amusement making the corners of her mouth twitch. A deer points affably in approval. Seraphin snickers quietly. Siri. Sweet honey art. I scribbled you missives day and night. Declarations of passion, sonnets in songs. <laughs> or on account of me being at sea, I never had the opportunity to post them. Shodi lifts her chin in interest. Oh, I'm certain. I'm certain I should believe every word of that blarney. About as certain as I am that you're a snake tunned philandra worth little more than a tug in the rug. I plundered you up a pair of fine, very fine, snakeskin boots with that tooling you like round the cuffs and all. But the gentleman sprung a leak and they ended up thoroughly sodden. She scoffs and he looks to you with a shrug. Shoddy's eyes narrow, dark lashes fusing. <laughs> Tell her, Cap. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry for keeping Seraphin at sea for so long, Siri. As captain, the responsibility rests with me. The green Orland snorts, her breath briefly catching up her hair. I take it your mother never learned you what a full notion it is to cross an Orland scorned. Ah, balls. We be in for it now. Ye can't just go showering a lass with wild flowers and filling her head with verse if you're planning to ship out and never see her again. Seraphin winces and shame splashes, splashes you like a bucket of cold pissed. Uh, let the visions come. Slick wet fur in the lamplight, calloused palms pursing her belt, her pelt, tweaking teats and biting at the soft edge of the neck, thrusting into hotness, yet tender, hopeful, not that this time will be the one that lasts, but that she might forget this sad, uh, this sodden shithouse for an evening or two. You've been lucky thus far, you know. I'm of half a mind to call ye out, and I'm no worse than many with a blade. Least then, perhaps, you'll give me a lick of satisfaction. Her hand strays towards her belt. You knew Seraphin sails. Didn't you want him to leave? Siri's eyes bulge and her arms go slack. She lets her head drop. Aye, mate. Maybe you've got yourself a right idea there. She sighs. I'll be truly sore and sorry, lass. Sorrier still than that. I won't go spinning no yarns about being married to the sea or coming home to you someday. I ain't that gentleman, nor never will be neither. He straightens and meets her eyes. All I can promise you is that what be broken me there ain't fixing for. I'll be a right sad fuck. And there ain't nothing to account for it, but me. Uh, truest thing I've ever heard from you. Siri sighs, wraps herself in her arms, and peers at Seraphin for a long, quiet moment. <sighs> that I can understand. I'm not forgiving you a lick now. I won't go seeking for your blood, neither. Now, why don't you be telling me what you want so I can be shot of you for good? Seraphin nods. Aye, lass. The captain's got an ask or two about Deadline, but first, I need to know. You remember Amaro? Sail with me on a sorcerer. 
Aye, I remember Romaro. You think I've gone wet in the head or something? Your words have always been as flowery for him as they were for me. Seraphin claps once, grinning. It weren't so long ago he shipped out, come to think on it. Do you know where he went? Can't rightly say. Left in a hurry, I think. Or at least he were here one day and gone the next. Not that he ever mixed much with the sods here. Where was Romero staying? Hard to starboard through the back door there, then straight on to the end of the hall. She gestures to the northern exit from the room. Don't think nobody's claimed his quarters since. Might be worth it to eat a poke around. Give my thanks, lass. Truly. And many more besides. He bows deeply, braided beard brushing the floor. I'll keep it in your pantaloons, you randy swab. You had any other questions, Captain? Happy to oblige the person hauling this blue bastard away from Fort Deadlight. We're looking for Benwith. That rotten fuck what brought you to Fort Deadlight? I hope you're looking to rough him round a bit. Maybe dangle him over the bulwarks. What did Benwith do to upset you? Bastard were playing the keys not five nights ago. I joined in and me not even setting out a pail for coin, neither. He stops and tells the whole room that me voice were more harpy than siren. Of course, that sets everyone to laughing. She scowls, arms crossed and shoulders hunched, playing the keys. Aye, that half mast sack of soiled linens can't leave alone a chance to show off his talent at the harpsichord. He's got chops, I can't fault him that. But no manners to speak of. She snorts. You think this be some big city cabaret type establishment? There's no schedule, mate. Benwith comes down when the party's loud enough to shake his sheets harder than the oars he keeps up there. Where can we find him? Benwith blows into deadlight. He mostly stays locked up in his quarters. A few whores in his bunk and a whole mess of muscle outside his berth. He's so protected you'd think he'd got flawless diamonds betwixt his legs instead of the pair of sweat, wet, rotten figs he's got. Suppose the price of being a first-class ass like Benwith is living in fear of someone slitting your gizzard. She huffs. That's all I need to know about Benwith. Aye, mate. As you please. Were there something else she wanted? Just who is this Romero person Seraphin's looking for? Seraphin rolls his eyes and crosses his arms. You don't know? That's so. I'm thinking it's not my place to tell you. I need to know what Seraphin's getting my crew into. Nay, matey. It's Seraphin's tale to tell if he's the notion. My lips aren't so loose as you may have heard. Alright, farewell. Alright, so he's upstairs, is what we learned, right? Um, Captain Bandwidth is taking refuge at the Fort Deadlight. Why is it not updating anything? We learned something. Bandwidth's guard. Free food? Sure, why not? And me, the cops run trouble. Welcome one and welcome all. Buy me a bottle and I'll be your finest loving pal. <laughs> she hiccups into her fist, then pounds on her chest to loose an impressive belch. What says you, lad? Looking for Benwith. She wipes Scrog from her mouth with the back of one hand. Aye, you're likely to find him here from time to time. But at the moment, he's staying up top at Eldie's private quarters. Why is that? Well... They're real nice. At your pointed look, she shrugs. Oh, you meant because the captain's second in command at Aldi's. When she's off plundering, it's him who runs the deadlight. Ben's locked down the inner halls in the upper ramparts. No one but his own crew's allowed within. He's temping the fort down because he doesn't want to get in trouble with Aldi's again. Last time, we might have got too rowdy. <laughs> she snickers into her cup. But executing all those political prisoners sure was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Merke hiccups behind her hand. So I wanted to draw Benwith down here. And why would you want to be doing that? She hiccups. <laughs> uh, he and I have some unfinished business. So long as it stays between just you and him. Ben loves him some good festivities. Blood or booze doesn't matter so long as it's flowing freely. That's why Aldi's is always having to rein him in. Long as it don't get too out of hand, the captain will probably join us rather than shutting things down. I know how to get us started, but you'll be doing the legwork. Seeing as I don't fancy a punishment should the captain get mad. Uh, what do we need to get a ruckus started? The more booze, the rowdier we principi get. The better the booze. Well, that's when the real fun principi. starts. Principi. Yeah, that's how they're saying it. Principi. I happen to know. 
Deadlights recently received a shipment of excellent God Killer's rum. It's reserved for Aldi's private stock. Snatch us a barrel, will ya? They're outside on the eastern rampart to the base of the crane. Careful, though. The steers will be guarded by Ben West's own crew, and they're in a sour mood. What will Ben do if Aldis Rum is stolen for a party? He'll save her and guzzle it with the rest of us. Then later find someone to blame. How can I avoid the guards on the ramparts? Most direct route to the ramparts is up the stairs by the eastern towers. Ancret's on post there. She's a bit of a gambler. Likes a good bet, but loses more than she ought. Oh yeah, Snake Guy's got her for quite a lot of coin. Seems he's good at rigging, and I don't mean sales. <laughs> she lets out a long belch. I want to talk about something else. I'm listening. Uh, why Ben with avoiding the fort's commons areas? He's brutal when he's sober, and he's bloody mad when he drinks. So he's keeping to himself, I'd guess. Aldi's ain't a pushover, but she don't like Benny's increasing aggressiveness. If he gets out of hand again, she might hang him by his squishy bits from the bowsprit of his own ship. All right, farewell. That character is great. Uh, all right, guys. This is, I think, where I'm going to be saving it. It's, yeah, it's like 3.30 uh, for today. It was just a short stream. I appreciate you guys hanging out and joining me. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for a uh, regular schedule at 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so I'm not sure what time that is everywhere else. That's like 8 a.m. West Coast. I know that. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll hopefully catch you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow.